that's so nice. Don't. Oh. Oh. I love this. This is delicious. All right, Leah. So you are shipping today. I am. This is something different. You guys yeah. have a lot of orders today? I guess so. Because I even know Karen is pulling orders right now. She is. And she hasn't pulled orders probably all summer. Really? I don't think so. And my mom's pulling orders. She never pulls orders. <laughs> <laughs> so what did these people get? Well, so this is a little variety today. Ooh. Some roasted cashews. Nice. They got some hard candy, the taste of fall. Ooh. They also got ribbon candy, the peanut butter filled molasses. Those are good. They got the peppermint Oreo bark, which we haven't made in a while. I know, that one seems nice. They wanted some extra magnets, and they need this mega pack. So how can you tell if it needs a mega pack or a regular one? Oh, the website decides based on their weather, and they oh, okay. are from Texas. So that one's a little warm. So it's probably hot there. So ribbon candy will put extra bubble wrap it. I was say, does it, does it tend to break even with the bubble wrap or is it? It's 50-50. But, I mean, the thing about it, you have to break it to eat it anyway. Yeah, so. that's true. But it is kind of nice to see it like in its full yeah. form. Yeah, so like, you never know. This person might get it right. Hopefully. I mean, you're wrapping it, but not, that's a lot of bubble wrap. It is. Do you have to wrap the hard candy too, or no? Nope, the hard candy should be fine. Nice. And look at, there's Terry and her element pulling orders. Terry, you pull you orders? Can see me? I do today. <laughs> Busy Tuesday. day? Tuesday, the day after Labor Day. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, also, it's Taylor's Day Off. Exactly. Uh -oh. So, one last person. Yeah. She's a big shipper. Yeah. And then rumor has it, Terry's going to be making some candy today, too. So, <gasps> Terry's going to be doing it all. I'm all over the place. That's going to be a... Uh, okay. Today's going to be a fun video. A lot's going on. Yeah. And there's new stuff. Yeah, she's back. <laughs> Took a field trip. Took a field trip. <laughs> <laughs> you do shipping, like... Still quite a bit though too, right? Sometimes, yeah. maybe like once a week. Since you come in a little bit later, that's why it's usually done. Yeah, especially in the summer. Yeah, I'll ship more in the winter when we're, we have a lot more orders. But right now, I get here at 10 and it's all done. <laughs> nice. Honestly, that's a good, that's a good schedule then, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that schedule. So before you guys use this stuff, you used to use the, the peanuts, right? Mm-hmm. But they're, these, this is better for the environment. And you're not allowed to have styrofoam in New York anymore anyways. Really? I don't think so. Awesome, good. Yeah. Just like we got rid of plastic bags in the grocery store. Same same thing, I guess. <sighs> that one that one bothers me a little bit. What? I'm sorry. I know it's better, but <laughs> it's so difficult. Do you, bags have, do you own reusable paper, bags? We do, but we forget them a lot. Oh. At our, and then, like... I'll be too cheap to want to buy more reusable ones because I know we have too much at home. Yeah. And I'll ask for paper and then it'll rip out. So. Uh, <laughs> I just leave mine in my bag. Or my bag's in my car. Okay, yeah. That's what I meant. But yeah. You have to bring the groceries upstairs. Yeah, and then I leave go the grocery break. bags by the door. So the next time I go out, I take them with me. That's smart. It's the whole system. Well, I gotta get on the system. Yeah. I'm still not used to it. It's okay. More? Yep, just gotta cover the top so it feels so it's Big more one. insulated. It fits perfect. Yeah. Now just put some bubble wrap on top to keep it stable. Wow, there's a lot that goes into these. Yeah. I make good noises too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then they can reuse them if they want to. For what? I don't know. Whatever. Whatever, Whatever you need bubble you wrap need. for. Yeah. Maybe you're moving. Maybe you're moving. Better save the box then too. <laughs> <laughs> well, they did such a good job. They get a sticker. Wow. It's like kindergarten. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I love it. 
Where'd you come from? I just ran in here. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, well, I heard you were doing snack love, so I had to sprint in here. You know, I couldn't, I couldn't waste any more time. Because I'm doing them extremely fast, and you might have missed <laughs> me doing this if you uh. Nice slow process. I mean, I just don't want to get too much of the stuff contaminated, so I'm like trying to just get the the peanut butter's nice and cold right now, so it is kind of staying in place, and I'm just trying to get a nice thin layer of chocolate so that doesn't get in the way. Pat it down with my chips. When nothing falls as I carry it over, I know I did a good job. Because that looks not like messy. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff going on today. Steve is doing a bark that honestly isn't done very much. Like it's not really done often, is it? No. Uh, holiday kind of. How many times kinda. have you done it, Steve? How many times have you done this bark? Um. Like when's the last time you did it? Three or four that? times. That's all. When's the last time you did it? Christmas, I think. Wow. I get in first in the morning, so I've had the most time to kind of get myself into a point where Scott's like, all right, let's get filming. You look like <laughs> yeah. you've been productive. We got in 6.30 this morning. It is now 10.30. Yeah. Been moving. I like getting an early I like getting an early start on the day. Kind of makes for a productive day for me. Yeah. If I wake up too late, I always feel so groggy and then like unmotivated. So you know, if I'm up at like five, I'm like, let's get it, guys. <laughs> Just crazy. really? Yeah. Weird. I'm the exact enough. opposite. You wake me up early, I don't have any motivation to do anything. But you get me up at like, I don't know, nine, ten. There's a lot of people like that, but I don't know. I think that's also why I like the morning so much because there's nobody up. Thank I get you. it to be by myself because I'm kind of a little bit of an introvert, but not really. But like, I like a little bit of introversion, so I'll mm -hmm. like, I get my mornings to myself. Where are you going now? I uh, poked a hole in that glove, so. Okay. So the potato chips are mean, and they are actually rather sharp. When you uh, get them into that, it's like a little shard. And I know. Have you ever been eating chips and then like they actually oh, yeah. stab like the roof of your right mouth? Right your gums or one yeah. of those. Yeah. Like oh. awful, bro. So bad. But that yeah. Hurts so much. Oh, I just like cringed on the inside. Same when I said my I'm mouth. Sorry, people. But um, oh. yeah, no, they rip your gloves apart. So every now and then, I gotta make get sure back to it. New glove. Keeping up with everything so that I don't have keep it all clean and stuff. Gloved up. Everybody loves gloves. Loves gloves. Yes. All right. I went to a place to get some food yesterday. Actually, no, not yesterday. It was on Sunday when I was coming back from my that mountain bike thing. Yeah. We stopped this nice little restaurant, but they left the door open to the kitchen. So I was like, oh, okay. Like, they must be Honestly, really confident in themselves. Honestly, kind of cool. I love to be able to watch yeah. kitchens while I'm sitting at a well. restaurant. <laughs> Unless it's like not a good thing, <laughs> I guess. I don't know what the actual thing is with restaurants. Like, are they required to have gloves on? Yes or no? In restaurants with food prep, I think as long as like you're cooking it, no. But if you're just like if you're making a salad or something, probably. I don't know. Actually, so they were no. assembling the burger that I got yeah, with bare I'm hands. I'm assuming you should probably have gloves. So on. that means they touched my the bun with their bare hands. They touched my lettuce. The onion, everything with bare hands, no gloves. I mean, Is no. that okay? Did you no. get sick? Okay, not yet. Okay, well then your immune system just got fucked. <laughs> so take it with a take it. With we were a just nervous. Me and me and Peter looked over and we're like, should we? Is this fine? I think. And I was like, honestly, yeah, I'm hungry. I think so. to some degree, it's like when you cook at home. I don't put gloves yeah. on, but like, and they're cooking all day so i'm assuming yeah. they're just they've been in the kitchen and the last thing they touched was like food so yeah. as long as it's like they're Not washing their hands yeah. making a sandwich with their bare hands i won't eat it really yeah because we went to a place uh, one time they were they weren't using gloves and i looked around and was like uh, I'm not getting anything. I'll take a cup of coffee. <laughs> They're like, do you want me to stir it with my finger? <laughs> <laughs> That's like, uh, is that scary movie? I think it's a scary yeah. movie where the, the crazy guy with the, like the little hand is like yeah, feeding like them dinner or whatever and just <laughs> yeah. shoves his hand into it. And they're like, I don't know if no. I can put a clip of that in there or not, but <laughs> you definitely can. It's so funny. Okay, yeah. please, please try. Try and go through corporate and see if you can. Okay, I'll try it. <laughs> 
push hard for me. I love that movie. It's but, so funny. But no, I guess I guess I'm a uh, I'm not as picky. Like I I ate it and it was a really good burger. Okay, so he and made up. Came out he made like, up. How is everything? I was like, how weird. Great. It is. <laughs> What it's a, wonderful. Would have preferred you put gloves on, but. <laughs> <laughs> we'll 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 it at this point. But we never see them cook our food, so 90% of the time they're probably doing something like this. We yeah. just haven't known, and we weren't worried then. 100%. So I was like, why be worried now? Out of sight, out of mind. Yeah, I was like, close your eyes. Ignorance <laughs> is bliss. Just like, yeah, never look in a kitchen again and always just enjoy your food. Maybe that's yeah, not a good yeah. thing, though. It's awful. <laughs> just close your eyes. It'll be better. <laughs> It'll be better that way. How it goes. It's a funny world. And then what's your plan after this then? So I'm thinking I get through this, probably a little lunch or something. Nice. Um, and then we have the. Or is it a secret? Not. It's a stacker, another stacker boy, and it's gonna be fun. But it's like not. Uh, it's just not peanut butter. So yeah, shouts out to everybody that like can't eat peanuts. Now you can eat this one. You will be able to partake in this one. Yes. And it sounds, and I just like, how can it be bad? Like, that's like everything else here. How can it be bad? It can't be bad. It's going to be delicious. I'm excited for this one. Me too. I love snack clubs too. I looked in the uh, outside where we have them on our display, and there was like one package left. I'm like, oh. Oh, (laughs) I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. I am making them because there's really like none left. And it's a it's a tasty one and then like when the holidays come around it's really hard to keep up with these so I don't know how many more times in between now and like all of the holidays happening we'll be able to like actually restock these. on these so if you really like these make sure to get you some now I would yeah, yeah definitely try and get on it faster than faster than the next guy because I've I have no idea and I'm only making so many because you're only one person. I'm only one person, and that way they're even more special. Yeah. Okay, Craig. Mm. Do you know what's coming? The holidays? Yes. Do you know what that means for you? More business? Yes. Do you Whoa. think we should try to capitalize on that? That would seem like it would make good business sense. Why not? We'll call it a business model. <laughs> so, if you are an e commerce business owner like Craig here, you know you can run, but you can't hide because the holidays are coming for you and the time to prepare is now. It's time to get going and get set up for success. And that's where ShipStation comes in. ShipStation sets you up for growth by integrating every shopping cart and every storefront to make your products easier to find and manage and get them into the hands of happy customers. And it consolidates order management and automatically sends them shipping updates so they get the tracking information. They know when it's coming. ShipStation has four different price levels, so you only pay for what you need. It's much better to prevent a problem now rather than trying to catch up when you are overwhelmed. So get your ducks in a row now and get ShipStation. Whether you're starting small or anticipating growth, ShipStation makes ship happen. You don't have to limit your business to one store. ShipStation integrates with Etsy, Shopify, Amazon, and eBay, and making it easy to manage all of your shipping from one dashboard with minimal effort. With ShipStation, you get the same discount rates as Fortune 500 companies, and it's easy to compare shipping rates and delivery times, so you always know you're getting the most bang for your buck. 98% of ShipStation users that use it for one year become customers for life. So put your shipping on autopilot and save that big brain of yours for more important stuff like product development, new ad campaigns, ordering lunch. So you now know everything you need to know about ShipStation. So go to ShipStation.com slash Hercules Candy and sign up for a free 60 day trial. Thank you ShipStation for sponsoring this video. It's going to be two tone uh, peppermint bark. Mm. So I guess the real ones, this ain't the first time we've done it, but we don't do it often. No, so I don't even know the process. So he's kind of explained to me a little bit, but like I still don't get it. We like, put dark chocolate down layer yep let that dry and then i'll put white chocolate on top of that with how long do you have to let the dark chocolate sit on here before you can put the white chocolate on uh until it's pretty dry i just kind of have to test it all right and then uh, i guess we'll find out oh that's so nice that's the best part of my job right there i love watching chocolate just get poured down and then he gets to play in it. Then he gets to move it around with his hands. I would say solid probably 10 pounds of chocolate right there. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. 
down on the table. At least. At least. Maybe even a little more. 10, 15 yeah. pounds of chocolate somewhere in there. Just crazy. It's like so fun to see the amount that we work <laughs> in. It's so much. Who works with this amount of chocolate? It's so cool. We do. Yeah, mm. I do. <laughs> I does. don't. You don't. You, you film it, though. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm in the presence of it. Of it. Yeah, you're, you're part of it. Thanks, We try and get you to do <laughs> stuff. Who has some days where he's like, no, you're not. Yeah, I know. You <laughs> like, don't do anything. Nice thing, I guess. <laughs> and there's some days where he's like, yeah, no, you're a part. <laughs> the team wouldn't be the same without you, Scott. Yeah, Scott. Oh, now you're just lying. Now I'm going to You said you're not going to pour it? No. I don't want to pour it on top of there. I'm gonna, one pour. I'm gonna put uh, just handfuls on top of it. Hey. Okay. <laughs> What's that from? I don't know. <laughs> Is this a <sound> part? <laughs> Pretty sure it's the teacher. Ooh, the drizzle. Oh, so you're gonna drizzle the whole thing until it's full? I think he needs a little bit on it so that he can get the hard candy to stick down first. I don't want it to uh, melt the whole dark top there. Because if I pour it on there, it'll melt it right away. So this way it'll kind of just... This is a new method that you're just trying out now? Yeah. So never done before this? No. Nope. New. I don't know why I had to speak like Yoda right there. But <laughs> <laughs> you did change your, uh, <laughs> your like, position of your yeah. verbs and stuff around. Never done before this? If I pour it on top, then uh, that'll be a lot of heat on top of the dark chocolate, and that'll start melting too soon. Mm, well, I get that. After you do this, are you going to start, like, kind of smearing it on? Yeah, then I'll have to... Okay. And then I'll throw the uh, hard candy piece of the peppermint on top of you it. You are smart, Steve. I hope Don't so. Don't let anybody tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what everybody else says about you. I still think you're smart. Two things. So how do you know when there's enough? Oh, you can kind of tell. I mean, because <laughs> once you can sp start spreading it out, I don't need it to be real thick on here, really. I just want to spread it out on here. That mm -hmm. way, that way it doesn't really melt the dark chocolate too much. Yeah, that's true. Because it'll cool much quicker if it's thin. I think that might be my favorite part about this job is the you'll know answer when it comes yeah. to making stuff is you'll know. You'll know. You'll get it. It'll be there. You figure it out as you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's famous. <laughs> now you get to oh, see how that, see it pulls up, the, it starts melting the dark chocolate, and then it starts getting a little, yeah, you see that a little dark bit in there. Bit. Yeah. Try not to. So if you don't get a full, like, layer of the milk chocolate on there, I mean the white chocolate, is that going to be a problem? Yes. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm trying to... It's not the bark we're after. We would, like, <laughs> we would like it to be, like, beautifully split. Is it still coming up quite a bit or not too, too bad? Yeah, you can, you can see when the brown comes through. See right there? It's coming through, so... Oh, we're at right there, too. Try to cover it up so it doesn't look like that, but... Can't... By the end, it'll probably just turn a different color. <laughs> yeah, I know. it. Trying to get it. Stay white. Do you want like a thick layer of the white chocolate, or is it, is it just too thin, too thin layers, really? Oh, uh, just two thin layers. That way, they'll have less time to melt the dark underneath. Yeah. Who came up with this idea? Oh, it's it's a common candy. Oh, it is. But it's just hard to do by hand. I don't know how the big companies do it. I think the cool part is, regardless, it's going to taste amazing. Oh yeah, oh, it's yeah. going to be great anyway. It's absolutely delicious. This combo of stuff is really, really yummy together. White chocolate and dark chocolate are very fun. So, Steve, if you had to compare it to the last time that you did this to now. So far, it looks good, pretty good. It's going pretty good so far. I, I got to get uh, the peppermint on here now next. I get that. So that gets covered up, too, because otherwise... If it that gets covered up by yeah, the white chocolate? Yeah, it has to be because the oh. peppermint will get uh, sticky from the humidity. So this is going to get real hectic soon. Yeah. <laughs> About to pick up the pace, you know. So I better put that on. That's there. why there's just the base. He's getting something yeah. for that hard candy to stick to. So now then, I, then I gotta go over it uh, again. Sure they stick. Yeah. Just gonna throw it on there. <laughs> yeah. 
Now that looks fun. Starting to look like Christmas. <laughs> Summer's over. Summer's over. <laughs> Guys, stop it. Now it's over. <laughs> There goes our I always kids. judge by the fair. Once the fair is over and kids are back to school, okay. I want to go swimming still. Well, yeah, actually, September is still summer. There will be some warm days, there'll be I'm some, sure. But there'll be plenty. It's, uh, it's I still want to go to the beach. I don't like the beach. That's a lie. I don't like it. I like <laughs> the idea of the beach so Same. much more than actually going to the beach. Same. I like it for a few minutes and then okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah, I saw it. I'll see it from the car. <laughs> see, now that I got the first layer of white, it's kind of hardening. Yeah. Now, now I can uh, spread it. it with pretty much no yeah. problem. So, so the first layer didn't pull up too much, didn't mix up too much of the dark into it. That's no, pretty I good. I can barely, I don't even think I see any spots. Yeah. Because you covered it pretty well. Almost like I knew what I was doing, huh? Almost. <laughs> <laughs> And then what? Do you have to do you have to smooth out again, or do you leave it like kind of like this? Yeah, I gotta smooth it out. I gotta Probably make sure all the hard candy's thing. covered up, cause it'll get sticky. Oh, uh, okay. So long as it's covered up in the candy, then we're all set. We're smearing it in. And that covers it. Yupper. Yep. Yep, it does. <laughs> <laughs> I know you like it when I say yeah. yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. Wow, this came out really nice. I heard some stories of it not coming out too nice, so I was like, let's see how it comes out. Some stories? Yeah. I oh, heard, I heard no. it turned gray last time. Whoa. Did it actually turn gray? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Honestly, this time it looks perfect. Yeah, it's because you guys were here. It's because of me. Yeah, see? Yeah. Yeah, wow, You're man. crucial here, Scott. And make Good the world one. go around. Another make sarcastic the world comment. <laughs> no, <laughs> was that sarcastic? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it was. I don't even know what sarcasm is. <laughs> now you're gaslighting. <laughs> That's what you're doing. <laughs> Thank you for the, the class on fun new terms on all this thing. Wow. Yeah, no, you're welcome. Oh, I got it. <laughs> you're welcome. That was sarcasm. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is looking good. This is looking really good. Covering it up and sh you know what still see it. Up huh. this spot. Where? Oh. Don't worry, I'm here for you. Okay, thanks. Because it's got the bird's oh, eye I see, view. I see a lot more. Yeah, I'm gonna get some more chocolate. Okay. I'm excited for the cut. That's, that's pretty, pretty much where I'm at excited right now. for. Sure. That's pretty much what I'm here for. It's the party. It's Definitely. the party. Except for the reason why it's the main. All right, this looks good. Perfect. Oh, Better than I thought. This is good. So, were you a little nervous? Yeah. Were you actually, or were you just lying? Yeah, because I, I didn't want it to be gray or anything and pull up the dark too. <laughs> it doesn't look very good. Yeah, you did a great job. It tastes good. But now we get to go to the cut. Who's excited for the cut? <laughs> 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 Oh, looks perfect. looks good. It looks perfect. I didn't hear any cracking or anything. No, no, no. I just hear the hard candy kind of moving. Yep. Wow. Nice. It didn't do it. No. So, what were you worried about just for everybody? Just, just worried about underneath there that it, when I'm pushing down that would. Uh, just crack randomly instead of just, just breaking. Just because it gets too cold? Just because, yeah, just because it's cold. But it didn't. But the white on top is bonding to it, so I think that helps a lot. Holding it together. I didn't do it, Cooper. I'm so happy. It did good. A successful bark. Bark, bark, bark. bark, bark. <sighs> wow. Nice. How does he do it? He's a wizard just like you. <laughs> <laughs> he is a wizard. Finger wizards? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. I'm not sure what a finger wizard is, but 
That's what you work. Work. Life, in, life in pieces when they want to go get a hot dog. <laughs> I think the guy says, well, they're not hot dogs legally anymore. They've been on there for 12 hours, so now we call them finger, lizard, lizard fingers. fingers. <laughs> <laughs> what is this from? Oh, uh, life in pieces. I'll have to look it up now. <laughs> that is and then his wife goes in later to the same place and they were still on there on the hot dog roller and they were like 24 hours and they called them something else. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on how long they sit there. Yeah. That's kind of hairy. That's kind of better than the other part. That's a beautiful, beautiful nice. thing right here. Nice. That's it. Good job, Steve. Woo. So what do we call this bark? Lucky. No. <laughs> That's a good one too. But the real name on the website. Two-tone peppermint bark. Two-tone peppermint bark is ready and by the time this video is up, it'll be on the website. So Should here it be. is. We made it. And now on to our the peppermint in there. Oh, he wants to keep going. Yeah, it looks good. It <laughs> looks like our fruity pebble bark. I was going to say that, but you beat me to it. Yeah, because I say what's on my mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Two to a bag. Do you have to weigh them? Or? Uh, yes. Why? Because they'll make weight. They make weight. Oh, okay. If they're under an ounce, they don't have to, but hmm. these are gonna make weight. Oh, these are the leftover ones? What are we talking about? What are we doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Yeah, we have to weigh these. Yeah. After they're packaged. Is that what you said? Yeah, no, I have. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know if like each one had to be a certain weight or not, or if no. you needed to add more if it's not a certain weight. No, just whatever they weigh. There's two a packet. Okay. You get it. I get it. Now, what do you do once you put them in the bag? Cause it looks like oh. I see them. You hit me with a chip. I did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, now I see the end. Okay, I'm going over. Let's see. Don't. Oh. Okay, that's a little warm. And then you have to cut it. Yeah, just like that. Um, have you tried the snack clubs before? Yes. Do you like them? Oh yeah, they're delicious. Delicious. Pretzel. Good. Chocolate. Good. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Good. Can't go wrong. And crunched up potato chips. Oh yeah, we talked about the potato chips. Potato chips. That's the best part. And these. Snack clubs. Snack clubs. And then how do you know which side to put the thing on? Just right there at the front. How do you know what the front is? Because there's a seam in the back. Oh. Yeah. Nice. And then. How is it, why does it seem negative two? I have to put the negative two. Uh, because of the plastic problem? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Three. It's definitely three. Yes. And then you just put. You have a pen? Yep. Three. Three. And that one's ready to be sold. Yeah. Ready to go. Nice. All right, so we got the bookworm. What are you doing? I'm studying. Okay, I'll let you get back to it then, because there's bigger news. Oh. Who is this? Is this a new hire? Oh, no, it's Terry. You can see me? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't. Think, I thought I was camoed up. I didn't even know who you were. I thought I was camoed up pretty darn good. I guess not, eh? All right, so what do we have going on here? We've kept the people waiting. Okay. We haven't even mentioned what this is yet, so it's I'm just oh. peppermint Oreo blast. Oh, blast, not bombs. Yeah, it's still blast. something that's gonna explode in your mouth. Of sorts. So yes. What so do we have going on? Then? Three different people on the YouTube's requested that we make a sub similar to the peanut butter Oreo bomb. But we do with peppermint patty. And I said, wow, yes. that sounds great. I want one now. Go so ahead. 
No, can't take it yet. It's <laughs> got to be covered in chocolate. The one thing I'm doing a little differently is I'm not taking off the cap. I'm, I'm leaving the double stuff intact. And so we're two. Yes. And the reason for that is the peppermint patty has quite a bit more. That's quite a lot of cream. And I think that's going to balance out the having the sandwich cookies. I think it's going to be a good balance of yeah. cream and frosting. And it's just a more, a taller, more satisfying bite. A lot. I think it's going to be like a jawbreaker for some people. Yeah. A, a jawbreaker in the best way. I'm you don't even have to. Go. You don't have to get in a fight to get your jaw broken here. I, I should mention the people who requested this on the, on YouTube. People, I um, I wrote the it. Names? I wrote it down on a post-it note. Is it okay if I run in and get it? Yeah. I'm going to. I'm going to run, and okay, I'm going to try so hard not to take out a wall. Let's see how fast you are. No wall She's already back. Her. She's already back. Well, did that take me like a half hour? No, it was like two seconds. Okay. Rhonda Huber. Okay. Sherry Siller. Kendra Wrestler. Wow. These are the people that I saw that asked for it in a YouTube comment. So. Perfect. They got what they asked for. It sounds like a really good idea. And sometimes I like good ideas. Sometimes. Sometimes. Not always. <laughs> and then Steve had a good idea of gluing them together. Everyone's just coming up with ideas. It's what you got to do. You got to bounce these off each other. He had Coop's caramel cups. Uh, yeah, that's true. You know, that's pretty good. Yeah. Go. But we don't really need, probably won't be doing too many more of those. Ever. Because we might consider doing this, leaving the, t the top on for the peanut butter bombs. Oh, we'll okay. see. We'll just see. We'll, you know what? People, tell me what you think. More Oreos you do, on them? Or? Yeah, is it better with Less cookie wafer or more cookie wafer? We'll let the people talk. Yes, give the people what they want. Yes. Give the people what they you want. You just have to tell us. I just have a feeling they just want more Oreos. Which, that's okay. Yeah. I mean, there's just so many Oreos we can eat. Yeah. Am I right? I have uh, my favorite. I get milkshakes that are cookies and cream. Mm -hmm. Those are my favorite. There's so the more Oreos, that. the better. Yes, there's nothing wrong with that. But, well, also, I feel like with the Oreo, the reason, because people were saying put the extra caps, they wanted us to put them in the Oreo bark, but now you're ruining the proportion of frosting to Oreo, and I don't yeah. I don't think you want to do that. There's a reason they make them double stuff and that's mega true. stuff, and that's because people want the frosting. So there's, I'm not about to do such a thing as give them less frosting than they want. Yeah. I think it, that's probably illegal. Yeah. Frosting I denial. Would say, I would say that, yeah. I do not need trouble like that. I've kept my record so clean. Why ruin it now? Exactly. Well, okay. look at that. There's one tray done. Mm. And then who who's doing the chocolate topping? And what do, we're, I heard we're doing dark chocolate with these. We are, because the pepper patties are dark. Right. And I just okay. use dark blue. That's true. So, yeah. All right, so unless, dark chocolate. You know, unless, Steve, you want to do them in dark and then half dip them in white and then... <laughs> oh, <laughs> by the way, why are we wearing masks today? Kara had a bit of a sore throat. She did not test positive for COVID, but we thought, hey. Why not be safe? Well, we were, not only that, why we're, we wore masks during all of COVID and nobody got anything here. Yeah. So if it's something, it doesn't have to be COVID, but if we have something, why spread it around if you don't have to? So we're yeah. just to be on the safe side, we decided to mask. But the other people aren't masking because just the roommates are masking. So now yeah. it's your turn with these things. Terry just had to do it, and now we're on to you. Make right. quick look at this, huh? Yeah. That's all there is to it. Wow, they look great. Big mountains of candy. Yeah. <laughs> How can you go wrong? I think we'll do a taste test for this. I think that just seems right. <laughs> and it's easily split up into, you can only, you only have to salvage one of them to feed like 10 people. <laughs> <laughs> feed a village with one of these. It's a tower, isn't it? It is a tower. It's a lot. <laughs> a lot going on there. Two double stuffed Oreos and a peppermint patty in that. What do you think? Can you try these? It's big. Can you try these? Uh. <laughs> will, you try, will you try a small bite? <laughs> okay. Okay, deal. <laughs> I'm trying not to eat candy, but. That's kinda, <laughs> it's kinda not gonna happen. <laughs> right. 
All right. I already did some, so. No, you didn't. Oh. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Big, all right, in the hand. I like to do top, bottom first, get that covered, and then it's just this weird little, like, kind of flop of the fingers, and it rotates it. Get it up, upright. Couple little, that will wipe. It'll toss off. Wow! Dang! Like I've How done it. How did you do that? Like I've done it before. Or something. You only did it four times. Five like, times. No problem, huh? Yeah, it looks easy. Well, this is easy making candy. Yeah, get in here, Scott. It's your turn. It's a nice little. It's just like a a a a, <laughs> a little extra on top there. Hand covering is fun. You're like very much like in tune with what you're doing. Oh, they're connected. No, they're not. Oh. Not allowed. Not in my house. I wonder if everyone, do you think everyone's gonna like them? Or yeah, we'll definitely. We'll find out. Order both if you can sure. do peanut. Uh, order both and then tell us which one you like better of our bomb blasts. Okay. It's been an eventful day, guys. Who wouldn't want that? Who wouldn't want this either? <laughs> There's a lot of new things going on. <laughs> right, we're finally wrapping these things. Yeah, we are. For Today is the day. For them, it's the next clip, but for me, it's been a couple days. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't so, even here the day they made these. I was like, what? So, this is new for you. <laughs> even though you've done the Oreo bombs, these are kind of similar. Yeah, right? yeah. Bagging lines. It's, I'm, it's like deja vu, yeah. except it's dark chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> and look at, we, get to, we get to see one cut open. Yeah, we do. I know we're gonna cut open another one for a taste test. Mm -hmm. um, I'm excited for that. I know, me too. Did you want to see how it will look as the yeah. the finished product? Honestly, I'm I'm excited. I did pretty good with this for the Oreo bombs. Yeah, for the I peanut know. butter ones. So yeah. I I pretty much nailed it last time. <laughs> this is. <laughs> oh yeah. Now you're gonna jinx it. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna like look awful. Okay. <laughs> but these right. ones are. Taller, by the way. I don't know if you knew that. Because they're two double stuffs. They didn't take the tops off. I don't know if you realize that. Or not. Really? Look at if you look into that right there. Whoa. There's a full double stuffed, and then the 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 mint thing. I what, peppermint, peppermint patty. Peppermint patty. <laughs> yep. And then a whole nother double stuffed Oreo. On top. Wow! I didn't even notice. I feel <laughs> like an amateur <laughs> over here. <laughs> so you have to write down the weight of each one. Yeah, anything that weighs over an ounce, we gotta do that so. for. So, All right. and then these are gonna get red a and red, red and white ribbon for like peppermint, candy cane, Ooh. that kind of um, that kind of vibe, I guess. Lee, are you excited for the taste test? Are you joining? Yeah, I'll try one. Okay. I like peppermint. All right. Leah and I won't say no, yeah. is what we're trying to say. Oh, I like certain. really doubled up on the scissors over here. Yeah. Just in case. <laughs> Just in case I run out of scissors. I was going to say, you got a lot. It's fine. Ooh. Let's see what happens here. Oh, can she make a knot? Can she do it? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, cut the like, cameras. It kind of looks like like braiding hair. You know what I mean? like there's, like, there's so yeah. much variables in there that you don't know which one to grab. You know one to grab. <laughs> it looks like a giant mega Oreo from the outside. Right. But then like you get surprised with the peppermint pack. You're like, oh wait, this is not what I thought it was. <laughs> oh. Ooh. And then with the, the the like white and red with the label too mm -hmm. looks super nice. Mm-hmm. We are coordinated over here. Oh wow. yeah. It's getting there. It's almost done. I'll only have to do this um a hundred more times. <laughs> Actually I think it is only seventy-nine. Oh. Oh okay. I think. Okay, seventy only seventy eight more times. Yeah. Well, oh and then we're eating too. Yeah. So, 77? <laughs> Simple math gets me sometimes. Sometimes I'm too quick. Okay, you need to keep laughing at it. <laughs> uh, but like, I get why you did it, because I, I have to do it 
seventy-six yeah. more times because I did it once already. Right. Okay. That's yeah. what you were thinking. That's not what I was thinking. I'm <laughs> just bad at math. <laughs> really bad oh at math. dang! Oh dang! It's fine. Well, we can say it's roasting. It's really cute. Honestly, I love this. I am really excited. I'm gonna be a part of this taste test. So. Are you? Yeah. Are you gonna be on camera? No, I'll do it behind the oh. camera. Maybe Aww. I can set it up. Maybe I can set it up. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Oh, I think yes. I think you should do it. I think everyone would show love everyone it. your face. They always I've been in a couple you. videos. Yeah, they just have to search it out. I think literally two. I think oh. only two. Oh. I'm exclusive. <laughs> yeah, I'm exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> you already cut it in half. Yeah, look at that. Look at it. It does look it amazing. Look at how thick it is. Yeah, I feel like leaving the uh, double stuffs intact was a good executive decision. Yeah, saw it a little bit. Ooh, we need an Oreo cookie. cutter. Yeah. Break like, cookie uh, and them. No. Like the apple core. No. Yeah. Oh. Kind of explode a little a bit. A tiny little apple core. Yeah. Look too <laughs> that was not very all. dainty at all. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> I think it jinxed him. Sorry. What are you looking for? Steve? You did that again. The knife. Yeah. That one. It's too late for the knife. It's a little late for it. The, the yeah, second like you that. the second you stopped filming, that one cut really nice. So Cooper oh, actually oh, didn't so cut that. He karate chopped it in a split like that one, look at that. <laughs> That's what you guys missed. Yeah. That's why it's so perfect. It's right. the one that fell apart. Yeah. Oh, dang. Say that again, Dad. Okay. <laughs> so they look delish. <laughs> okay, Rachel Ray. <laughs> <laughs> okay, three. Two, one, cheers. cheers. <laughs> I love this. This is delicious. It's like a thin mint on crack. Mm. Yeah. It reminds yeah. me of the, the Girl Scout cookies. Yeah. Mm. Thin mint. Mm -hmm. It's very good. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have the last piece. Are you kidding? Uh-huh. I mean no, I'm not kidding. <laughs> this is one of this is one of my favorite items. Mm. This is the thin mint the next level. I'm sorry, Girl Scouts. Yeah, but we got you beat we've here. We've got more cream center than you. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's just how it is. We're coming for the Girl Scouts. <laughs> they got no <laughs> Camilla's are next. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we all buy Girl Scout cookies on the side to support them. So. Yes. Oh, yeah. Wow. We have to. Yeah. But we've, we've Ooh, if you put these in the freezer, that's what oh. I do with Thin Mints. Oh. Stop it. This, how would it yeah. be on ice cream if you like chopped it off? So yeah. good. Yeah. Ice cream. Ooh. <laughs> Set up the brownie, put the vanilla ice cream on top of it. Wow. Yeah. Yes. Now that's that is like this a is a ten that's out like, of ten. This, this is that was a dessert. That was a whole dessert. That was yeah. one of those. Yeah. That yeah. took me about five yeah. minutes to chew. <laughs> <laughs> How would I be taking a bite out of it? You actually tried to take I did, a bite I did out of it. I did try in my mouth. I did. Oh, so I, no, like oh, I, you like took a, whole a fourth. Bit. You took a fourth of a of yeah. one. Yeah, and it got yeah, me like a whole one in. Stuff. Yeah, I wouldn't but be, yeah, no you, one can. If you, get, if you buy these and you take no. one, <laughs> if you do that, like a burger. if you do that, film us. Do a yeah. TikTok and send it to us, because we want to see you biting like into this yeah. peppermint Oreo blast. That's what we're calling it. Peppermint see, Oreo it. blast. It's probably I, blast I open these. in your hands with yeah. cream and peppermint <laughs> stuff, but so yummy. Oh, these are my favorite. These are my new favorite. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye. If I could just get one full case of bananas, 44 pounds, and you know, green and yellow, the, all the different colors, that'd be great. Thanks. Okay. Bye. Sorry to interrupt. That's okay. You want to know about peppermint stuff, don't you? I do. I okay. Do. So we have two peppermint stuffs. Two of them. Two. Peppermint Oreo Blast. That's the two double stuffed Oreos with a peppermint patty sandwich between them. Cover the whole thing in dark chocolate for you dark chocolate mm. lovers. And also, dark chocolate lovers and white chocolate lovers. Two tone peppermint bar. The bottom's dark chocolate, the top is white chocolate with crushed peppermint candy in there. So that's going to be very swell and refreshing. It's limited time only. So, HerculesCandy.com. You can see it down below. Right there. Nope. Yeah, probably not that. Okay. Down. Well, right. anyway, it's down there somewhere, but I've got to get back to work. Corporate's going to find me and I'm going to be in big trouble. Yeah, I don't want to get in trouble. Sorry.